The grieving Princess of Wales wore sunglasses today as she was seen for the first time since the death of the Queen. Kate, who was demure in black, was spotted driving to pick up her three children from school after their first week at Lamrock near Ascot this afternoon. The death of their great-grandmother the Queen will be a heavy blow to Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and 4-year-old Prince Louis, as they and their parents begin a new life at Adelaide Cottage in the grounds of Windsor Castle where Her Majesty spent most of the year. On Tuesday the gang, as they call themselves, chased up the steps of their new prep, prompting beams of delight from William and Kate who held their hands when they arrived. Within 48 hours the country was in mourning, but the Duchess decided to stay in Windsor to support the children at school as William flew to Aberdeenshire on a RAF jet. Prince William, now heir to the throne, is returning home from Balmoral to be with his family after rushing to Scotland to see his grandmother before she died. He will attend the Accession Council in London tomorrow, where his father Charles III will be officially proclaimed king. Meanwhile, Charles today named his son and daughter-in-law the new Prince and Princess of Wales in his first address to the nation as King. King Charles III went to Buckingham Palace to meet fellow mourners this afternoon where he shook hands and accepted their condolences to cries of God save the King and impromptu renditions of the national anthem. One woman kissed him on the cheek. He also inspected flowers and tributes left for his late mother at the gates before entering the palace. Today the world mourns the death of Britain's longest reigning monarch as her son accedes to the throne. The Queen's coffin, draped in the royal standard with a wreath of her favourite flowers on top, is believed to be at rest in the ballroom of Balmoral, where she spent every summer with her beloved Prince Philip.